welcome back to Sister Circle Live on this 4 to 2 Friday. I hope you're feeling fabulous, all right? Mm -hmm. It is time for a full circle where we like to spend a little time discussing a subject that's important to us and we know that it will be meaningful to you. The news of violence last weekend in Chicago has made headlines everywhere. However, violent crime is a disease that plagues cities across the country, whether it's deemed newsworthy or not. And as we head into another weekend, we want to talk about some things that we can do to change the narrative, mm -hmm. promote unity, and stop the senseless bloodshed. Yeah. And uh, of course, you know, Chicago has been at the forefront, but I do want to note that the top five cities with the highest homicide rate uh, does not even include Chicago. Nope. How about Number that? one, we'll start from five up. Uh, five is Cleveland, four mm, is hometown. Detroit. You are right here. Uh, New Orleans is at number three. Baltimore is at number two. And number one is St. Louis. Mm. Uh, while Chicago is in the top ten, uh, we hear about Chicago so much more in the news. Mm -hmm. But today we want to uh, definitely see how we can or at least encourage people to stop the violence here mm -hmm. on Sister Circle Live. Selena, I know this is near and dear to your heart uh, mm -hmm. because of, of your upbringing in Chicago and your love for your city. Yeah. Uh, so talk to us a little bit about you know your thoughts on this and what we can do as a community to help. Well, you know, I'm, I'm just really glad that you pointed out the fact that Chicago is not the most dangerous city in America. Um, first of all, I think that it is sensationalized by um, the press. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure why. I won't speculate. I mean, everybody has their reasons of why they personally think something is the way that it is. Mm -hmm. And I just don't think it's it, it matters one way or another whether I speculate about that or not. Mm -hmm. But I do think that, um, you know, I am glad that we do get to highlight what is happening yes. in a specific place, period. Absolutely. I think that they need to highlight that in all of the cities mm -hmm. and try to create uh, solutions on all levels. Um, <clears throat> Uh, a, a study, well, not a real study, but I was reading something on CNN.com that yeah. was talking about actually how um, <laughs> the percentage of murders and shootings has actually gone down, uh, uh, homicides 22% in Chicago from last year, mm -hmm. and um, shootings 27% have gone down mm -hmm. from last year. Mm -hmm. So seeing this one particular weekend, we shouldn't, even though we should take heat and we should take notice and, and figure out something to do about it, but we should understand that it is not just signature to Chicago. Right. Um, I do think, though, and in reading the reading CNN.com, it talked about how people should uh, try to create better relationships with the police and that yeah. some of the reasons why they're having these issues, well, this is what the study said. Mm -hmm. Some of the reasons why they're having some of these issues is because the police and the um, civilians mm -hmm. are not getting Talking along. Mm -hmm. Like, there's no trust in the police system, mm -hmm. which, mm -hmm. I mean, which is true, and we Clearly. see that all across mm -hmm. America. Right. As well as, and I think that, you know, um, there's not enough education, mm -hmm. uh, especially in the um, the economic and educational, uh, well, the, 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 uh, the, the cities, or not the cities, but the areas that have economical, mm -hmm. economic and educational disparities, okay, gotcha. low socioeconomic uh, areas that don't have enough per support mm -hmm. and education. Mm -hmm. However, if you want to go gangster with it, because mm -hmm. right. I'm from the Chicago, <laughs> Yes, as old school, we're not sitting down and talking to the young people no more. Mm -hmm. There used to be a street code, okay, then, <laughs> that said you couldn't, you know, you really, when well, we really abide, we, we abided by that back in the day. Yes. Yes. I think that nowadays that is not honored anymore mm -hmm. down to the streets. Mm -hmm. So I think that also plays a role. No boys and girls clubs, those are gone. We don't have any mentors out in the communities that are really helping foster these kids and these young people that are, young people that are committing these crimes. Right, absolutely. Yeah, that, that's uh, about the size of it. But I also, too, want to add, uh, in our society, we have glorified violence, mm. particularly oh, gun violence. Mm -hmm. We see it in our movies. We see it in, or hear it in our, uh, our music. We also, our children are playing yes. video games. Gosh, I'm guilty. That, I'm guilty of that. So am I. I'm guilty put, of it. Uh, Call of Duty. A, 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 a automatic a handgun or AR-15 in their hands, and their, their, their whole goal is to shoot and kill. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so what that does to our children, we're programming them to think that violence is okay. We're now uh, desensitizing them. Mm -hmm. We are normalizing mm -hmm. the, the, the violence. Gosh. Okay, mm -hmm. let's start with that. Point let's start with point. that. Secondly, uh, one thing that I would like to urge and encourage everyone to do, at some point, people, we have to take back our communities, mm -hmm. right? There's more of us than them, mm -hmm. all right? Mm -hmm. You are now being led by fear, mm -hmm. but if you ever want to see change, 
change cannot exist in the same sentence with fear. Yes. yes. All right? So what I'm asking you all to do is to step forward. Often we say, oh, that's so sad what happened to mm -hmm. Hattie Mae's baby, mm -hmm. but it wasn't my baby. Right. Mm -hmm. You got yeah. you, you to gotta stop saying that because one day it very much, much so could be your, your baby. child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It could be your baby. Mm -hmm. So if you see something Say something. Mm -hmm. It's time to rise up and stop being in the shadows and come forward to right. live your fullest life to its mm -hmm. greatest potential. Mm -hmm. Man, that's mm -hmm. good, Quad. That's what the old well, school did. That's right. what good. they did. Well, everybody at the table said something said that everything. needed to be said, but more importantly, I want to say this. We need to figure out how we get more employment in our communities because the reason people are fighting is because there's lax in their household. Lack of money. You're going to... You, you want fast money. You're fighting for whatever somebody else has. Frustration. Like frustration. Stress. You have no outlet. So there's in the, in our in those communities that are seeing lacks. Mm -hmm. There's no grocery stores. Mm -hmm. There's no businesses. There's nothing there to figure out how do I provide for my family outside of going do hustling. Right. So hustling is causing all of this this ruckus. I absolutely believe that um, education is a solution to our problems. I think that there needs to be a discussion. There needs to be everybody that's, come, that's fighting all the odds need to come to the table and talk about this coal. Why does there even have to be quote unquote coal? Peace Peace is really the answer. Mm -hmm. If you don't like what I got to say or you don't like who I am or how I live, go on over there. You know right. what I mean? Go right. over there. It's a matter of opinion. It's three Asians. There are three Asians. Education, yes. legislation, yes. communication. Yes. And, 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 and the leaders in our community. three concepts. Yes, the leaders in our community, those city councilmen, need to put more right. efforts into building economic growth in the community. I mm -hmm. heard Judge Hatchett speak one time, and the one thing that she said that was so poignant, she said, we stop calling our black boys sons. Yep. A man in the street say, son, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Hey, son, get away from there. That's right. what they do. We stopped yep. being in the community. We're so afraid of these boys now that we let them just go and do anything. We stop calling our black boys sons. So let's start building this community mm -hmm. again. Let's start Love. building yes. this village and come back to the core of what yeah. it is, having these strong like black school. leaders, strong leaders, period. I don't yeah. care what color you are. And grabbing this young man or this young girl by their shoulder and say, you can. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can be greater than your circumstances yeah. because mm -hmm. so many people before you have made it out. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is what we need. Absolutely. We need more conversations like this on platforms like this. Mm -hmm. Tell us how you we feel. Send us your thoughts. Like this. Come and on we now. We are the yes. beginning of that. Thank Hello, you somebody. so much. We appreciate that. How do you feel? Send us your thoughts at Sister Circle TV on all of our social media platforms.